Hey guys, so obviously the NES Classic and the SNES Classic are super popular right now. And now with the recent announcement of a Mega Drive Mini and rumors of a possible Neo Geo Mini, I've been thinking about all of the minis out there at the moment and I just wanted to take a second and talk with you guys about all of this mini plug and play madness. So when I first heard that the C64 Mini was announced, I totally thought it was a joke. But it wasn't. It's real. It's like, super duper real. The C64 Mini includes, you guessed it, 64 games built right into the system. Game titles like Impossible Mission, California Games, Boulder Dash, Paradroid, and many more. Well, 60 more to be exact. And what the hell is Star Pause? Well, I'm totally intrigued. The only reason I haven't gotten one of these yet is because they're still not available in North America. But I've read some reviews and people seem to not be too happy with the controller. Apparently it's a nightmare to use for some of the um, platforming and side-scrolling games. But I mean, since it's USB, I assume you can plug in any third-party controller you want and it should be fine. And you could totally add other Commodore 64 games and homebrews to the system since it does support ROMs. However, I heard that you do need to do this through BASIC. And I don't know about you, but I don't know BASIC. But regardless, I think a super cute tiny version of this would be awesome and I'm totally buying it the second I can. And I can set it next to this guy and they can be friends. I'm the worst. The ZX Spectrum Vega is basically a mini version of the ZX Spectrum computer. Except that it's missing its iconic keys. And it's endorsed by Sinclair. All 1000 games on the system, yes, 1000, are officially licensed, so that's pretty freaking cool. Now I don't know much about the ZX Spectrum, so something like this could possibly be great for someone like me who wants to get more into it and doesn't know where to start. Last year, Atari announced they were making a new retro style system called the Atari Box, and we haven't really heard much since. Well, except now it's called the Atari VCS. I don't know. It comes with two controllers, one like the classic 2600 joystick controller, and one that looks like some weird alternate universe Xbox controller. I guess that's supposedly for the modern games it's supposed to have. They still haven't released any game titles or a release date for the system. I kind of feel like it's going to be a mess and that Atari isn't sure what the system's going to be yet. Is it going to be mostly a retro system? Is it going to be a modern gaming system that just happens to have some Atari games built on it? Nobody knows, and I don't think Atari does either. So for a very brief second last week, I was super excited. Okay, maybe that was an exaggeration. I was excited when I looked at Twitter and I saw that a Mega Drive Mini was announced, and other people seemed to be excited too. So because other people were excited, I was like, oh my god, Sega's making a Mega Drive Mini and At Games isn't involved? But after five seconds of Googling, my dreams were crushed and it's totally another At Games console. And I'm sure most of you are familiar with At Games' notorious Atari flashback systems and Genesis systems that are packed full of unofficial filler games and shitty emulation. So yeah, I'm not too excited about this. And finally, a Neo Geo Mini! Well, maybe. It's just a rumor. No one knows yet. Recently, SNK announced that for their 40th anniversary, they'd be making a new game machine that will feature classic Neo Geo games. So the fact that they said new game machine could mean it's just a new system with some Neo Geo games thrown on it. Or it could mean that it's an actual Neo Geo Mini. That would be awesome. Because right now I'm just picturing like the big Neo Geo controller and then like it would just have all the games built on there and you just plug it in and it would be awesome. Because I'm sure a lot of you are like me, I didn't have a Neo Geo growing up. None of my friends did, so I didn't even know it existed until I was in high school. So that would be awesome. I tweeted about this when I found out, and a few of you said you were worried it would be another Neo Geo X, which was a total failure. But I'm optimistic about this, if it's even a thing. Again, it's rumor, I have no idea if it's real, but I really hope it's real. So what's next? An Intellivision Mini? A Dreamcast Mini? Ooh, or a Vectrex Mini. I'd be so happy if they made a Vectrex Mini. Like, look at it. It's just asking to be made into a Mini. It would be awesome. I just really want a Vectrex Mini. I just want all of the Vectrex stuff, and there's not enough of it, so I guess that's a me problem. I predict that the next thing is definitely going to be some type of Nintendo Classic. I think a N64 Classic is on the way, but I don't think we're quite there yet. So I'm going to predict that won't happen for another year or two, but first I think we're going to get a Game Boy Classic of sorts, and it's probably going to be Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, all of that wrapped into one, and it can be either handheld or you can plug it into your TV, like Super Game Boy style. And I think that would be awesome. 
Well, what do you guys think? Are you tired of these mini systems? Do you like it? Do you want more? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.